Now under these headers, we just gotta clean up these gaskets, get these gaskets off of there. And then I got some high temp that I might use. And somewhere around here, I got the, the gasket. Oh, here we go. So this is what I'm using. BBK. Okay. Made in America. So yeah, we're gonna get these gaskets taken off and uh, I'll probably put a little bit of that on either side of the gasket, stick it on there. But I'll show you here what I try to do when I put these together. Now, about these header bolts here, you got a couple different kind. I had these ones in there and the threads, let me find it on here. Here we go. The threads look kind of wide. I don't know if you can see that, but they're uh, a little thicker, basically looking. What that's telling me is either there's material from the old heads on there, or these have been squished and flattened, right? Which is most likely the case. So I'm gonna use some new bolts, and I was gonna use these ones because they have a smaller head, so I was hoping they were a smaller size, but they're not. They're like a 10 mil, so, but, I was hoping that this would give me a little bit more clearance with a smaller head. They actually fit really nice in there. So those are probably the ones that I should use. And I've been using the ones with the larger head, thinking that was going to get a better bite, but they seem to keep coming loose. And that's probably because these might be the ones for these headers. I think they actually came with them. I don't but it's really tough to get in like this one here, right? Like in the vehicle, trying to get in there with a wrench and tighten that way back in there and get it really tight, it's, it's tricky. So these other ones aren't too bad. That one's kind of tough. But my point being, um, you know, be careful on which kind of bolts you got. I got a couple here couple of extra where did they come from I don't know over the years I just I keep stuff but I got a bunch of newer ones like these so guys would be half tempted to use something like that but I'm pretty sure these ones came with it so I'm gonna try these ones out but also be be aware of the length right make sure that uh, you know you test them by hand check your thread depth before you just start tossing stuff in there. But typically the longer, the better. My opinion on holding stuff in there, but the higher risk you run and having those seize up also. So that's up to you. So it depends on how thick your flange is, you know. Depending on your header type. See that's kinda short. So, in the end, we still might run with these. We'll see what executive decision I decided to do on that one. Now, if you're gonna run headers, I really don't care what you run them on, but I really recommend that you wrap them. Uh, I didn't really think it mattered at first, but it really does. It makes a huge difference for the engine, its performance and life and components life your plugs and wires life. I mean, it seems kind of crazy when you got to spend another 50, let's say 100 bucks with the, you know, the bands to hold them together, right? So let's call it a, you know, 100 bucks to do it. That's better than having to buy another set of $60 wires because you just melted them and, you know, and I also recommend putting boots on, which we'll get to here in just a bit. But um, right now I'm just running this, just changed discs here to one of these more like Scotch-Brite. 
and you can see where I've done so far. So I'm just gonna go and uh, do that other one and get the gaskets and start assembling. Now I ran this in a couple different places and that's just too close, that's bottomed out, but that's too close to the thickness of that flange. So it'll probably bottom out. I don't wanna risk running it that long. So I'm not gonna use these ones. I am gonna use these shorter ones here. And uh, another thing that I thought I should probably do is this whole surface here is a little thicker since I painted on this gasket, uh, brake material, brake paint. So anyway, that brake paint, I gotta clean that off because my header won't quite go in all the way, I imagine. So I'm gonna obviously have to remove that little bit because it's just a, like a little step. So you don't have to worry about here, but probably up in this area where that header is gonna seat. So I'm gonna just take that sanding wheel, and just zzzz. All right, let's get to this now. Probably gonna end up bumping this light. Oh, see, I already did it. Come on. That is gonna just have to do. Probably gonna fall again. So what we need to do is this dipstick is gonna be right in the way. So go ahead and see, I can't get the header on. So pull the dipstick out. So we're gonna have to put that in in a minute. So set that off to the side. And I like to put a little silicone around the tube and then put it in there. So you can put silicone on if you want, but I took that paint off up to about about halfway to that hole almost. And then uh, I got the plugs torqued to 11 pounds, 11 foot pounds it said, but I ended up uh, giving it a little another, almost an 16th of an ooga -dooga turn. And uh, but anyway, I like them a little bit tighter than the book says. So we're gonna get this gasket in here. I'm not gonna use any silicone. This time, I don't believe. What do you think? Silicone is not necessary, but you know, it's probably preferred. Okay, now hold it right there. So here's the trick. You need to make sure, because how are you going to get those wires on the plugs? How do you get in there to put all these on there? Well, fortunately for me, I've got these boots marked. So this one's four, right? So this would be the second one. So let me get this one in there. So you hear that click where's two two should be the longest can't really read that it's bad and you can't read your own writing uh well i think this one's a six so we actually need to take this out grab that gasket Ooh, don't break your plugs now so we'll run six in here, set this gasket up here. So we'll get our wires on. You got the header. So make sure you get your boot out like that. So it needs to be oriented up and out towards the back. Okay, that one's clicked on. That one's definitely on.
these boots will save your wires for sure. Barking at them deer. But see, with this, this would really be a nightmare, obviously, if your headers were bolted on there. So this is why I put the boots and do the gaskets the way I do and run the wires like I do. I should just cut this <clears throat> because this wire's got a ton of slack. There we go. Well, get my bolt started and then you can get yours going. But it's a bit of a finagle to do all this. So that's why I was thinking on shooting a video to show this because it's okay, girl. Because this is kind of tricky to, to do, especially when it's in the truck. You got your bolt, you dropped it. Here. the fun one right here all right that's all there is really to it I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up hold that light please right there <clears throat> All we got to do is just tighten these down now and then do the same thing on the other side. But these boots will protect the wire. The header wrap, hey, look at that. It actually lines right up. Can you tell where that was? That's funny. It literally burned the color off of it. But you can see it protected the wire. And that's what we want. So run your wires through like that and then uh, if you can, do it when the engine's out, because this is so much easier. And then uh, just make sure your surface where your bell housing is is all good. You know, your pins, your alignment pins are good. Make sure your plate's all good. Everything's torque-related. We got to start going through and check, check, check. We're getting close. This hole, some of my viewers, if, if you guys know, I know it's not needed. On the old school ones, it used to be like an oil pressure port where you could check your... But anyway, it goes, it just goes in here anymore because it's not needed. So I put that in to keep the water and dirt and the stuff out. So if you know anything about whether I should have did that or not, let me know. Because if I should, I'll take it off. But I just figured it'll keep water from going in there. So now we're just going to button this all up. And then once we get this side on, we'll be able to set it in there. I'm not going to put the distributor in it yet because I don't want to break it. Sometimes when you put it in there, it can hit the firewall and you crack that plastic, you know, pretty easy to do. So uh, what else was there? There was something else I wanted to mention. That's why I should probably script and write some of this stuff, but I try to keep it live and real for you folks. So anyway, if I come up with any other things, oh, that's what it was, my number one. I got her sitting on number one. Had the young feller put his finger on number one before we put the plugs in. Ran it around, made sure we were still right on number one, top dead center. So we're at top dead center. So we should be able to slap the starter on, hook the wires on, get some fuel going to her. Send her. Oh yeah, and obviously hook up the water and cool, you know, oil, like important stuff. <laughs> 